Hey, what's up everybody? Kirby Leesman here with Kirby School of Wake. Just enjoying another beautiful day here in Fort Myers when normally this time of year, I'm up in Kansas City, uh, hanging out with the Iguana IMG and State of Mind crew at the Kansas City Boat Show. But unfortunately with things going on this year, I wasn't able to make it, but I know they've got some great stuff going on, that, going on at that show. They've got, uh, I believe 14 boats on display, one of which is a Malibu 24 MXZ, which is a boat that I know a lot about. So if you have any questions about it, for sure message or DM or call me. Uh, and they've also got some pro shop stuff. So really cool things going on there. And I'm sure if you know those guys and you're in the area, you're gonna wanna stop by and hang out with them because they're a great crew. But given this unique situation, I figured it'd be fun to show you guys the boat that I've been using here in Fort Myers, which is that beautiful Axis A24. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and uh, we'll start talking more about it. All right, there you have it. Our beautiful Axis A24. Like I said, that we've been using down here in Fort Myers for lessons. Really happy with how it turned out. Went with the NASA blue, uh, which is a new blue for 2021 with a black accent. And then Sapa brown interior, which just complements that luxury feel really well. And uh, yeah, been absolutely loving this boat. Completely redesigned for 2021. I know they started with the A22 and then last year had the A20 redesign and then this was the year for the A24. So four inches deeper on the hull, um, definitely improved the wake shape, gets a little, has a little more lip to it. And uh, the wake surf wave is even cleaner than it was before on the previous model. And I'm really excited about it. So enough talking about it from this angle. Let's get over there and I'll walk you through some of the interior features and maybe get out in the water and play a little bit. All right, so now as you can see, when I roll up to the boat from this side, that Sapper Brown interior really stands out. Got NASA blue uh, thread pattern throughout the boat as well with uh, NASA blue interior color. And it just really complements that brown. Me personally, I love having just a third accent color just to make the boat unique and special in that way. And you see, I've also got the uh, brown soft grip flooring kind of stepping through here. And uh, yeah, pretty amazing setup here. This is the uh, seating configuration that I most commonly run with the bench seat all the way back with the flip up uh, backrest, but you can also scoot it until it drops into another uh, channel. And then you could scoot it all the way back to where the cooler is at um, to have like a bench seat across the back there. Uh, but obviously you would want to store these uh, backrests if you did so. And the way you store those, you can actually unlatch them from the uh, from the bench seat and then store them under the back hatch. It's kind of neat how they can kind of like put them away back there nice and plush without you really knowing. And then you've also got these click in place chillaxing seats. So more backrest for uh, stadium seating. So, you know, if you've got a lot of action going on behind the boat and everybody in the boat wants to have a backrest, this is the way to set it up. Um, yeah, nice quick access if you need to get under the seat. Absolutely love that. And then this seat here is new for 2021 where it is on a hinge. You'll see there, uh, this is normally where a cooler would go for uh, most people, but I end up putting my merchandise down there. So I've got a big tote with all our shirts and hats and whatnot. And uh, yeah, so that kind of does it for the interior layout of this A24. And then now I'm just gonna pop open the back hatches we're going to show you this beautiful engine compartment. So you'll see I've got some ropes on my engine tray. Let's scoot this aside. Hold on. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, you'll see I've got the Malibu M6 engine in this one, which is the, uh, the bigger engine to the uh, M5. And they've got a bigger motor, which is like the LT4, which is really the big dog. So this one's kind of the middle range as far as horsepower, but it's more than enough for everything I needed to do. And then I've got the uh, Ronix 8.3 plug and play bags. Super easy to install those. You just clip them into place. I believe these are 750 pounds. So tons of weight in the back. Um, for making that big wake port and wake surf wave. All right, now before I close these hatches, I'm gonna show you this is where um, you can clip those seat backrests right in here to the uh, underneath of the uh, cushion and yeah, easily stored away if you don't wanna have the backrest on your seat. It's good stuff. Right, so now I'm gonna take us into the helm here and you'll see for 2021, they've upgraded uh, the backing here. It's got a new 
kind of upgraded look, but all the functionality of the, um, the buttons and the windows of the screen are all the same. And yeah, super simple to set everything up. And yeah, definitely a really amazing part of the Axis uh, line is just the simplicity of how easy it is to um, fill your ballast. So if I click all these once, like so, boom, all the ballasts are filling. Then if I hit them again, they'll be draining, hit them a third time and they're emptying. And then you come over here, we've got where you can select your wedge up or down, depending on what setting you want to have. Obviously my wedge is stowed right now, but I'll show you more once we get out to the water, what you can do with that. And then this is how you would scroll through your different windows. You got air and water temp, um, shows the hours of the boat, but this is the main window that I run in that shows um, my speed, my wedge and my surf gate if I'm running in a surf setting. So yeah, super simple to operate the boat. So let's get out there and uh, yeah, have some fun with it. Now as we're working our way out um, to where we normally put students in the water, um, I'm gonna just take a minute to talk to you guys about the difference between the Malibu and Axis product line. Cause I'm sure a lot of you probably know that Malibu is known for being like the most high end, the like highest, best performing boat. It's got the greatest quality of craftsmanship and dependability. So. What is Axis? Well, Axis is actually made by Malibu in the same factory with all the same materials, same people building them, just at a lower price. Now, why is it a lower price? Mostly because of the electronics. So if you're looking at that uh, Malibu 24MXE that's at the Overland Park show, you're gonna notice that like all the dash components are extremely high end and super technical. Like you know, it's almost like a computer screen that you can like an iPad, you can touch screen and use all the different functions and different windows. And it's really amazing what they're able to do on those screens. You can just go in, set a rider profile, click activate, boom, your ballast are filling, your speed set, your wedge deploys, all that good stuff. That's where the axis is a bit more simple. Everything's just like push button like I was showing you earlier. And uh, yeah, that really shaves off a lot in the price. But as far as like the quality of the boat, and especially with the performance, as I'm gonna show you here, you don't lack any of that when you go with an Axis. And Axis also has like great boats in the line that they offer. So they offer uh, sizes as small as the A20, and then you can get up to an A22, and then obviously this A24, which is where the bow is like a pickle fork, which is like two points in the front. A little more space, a little heavier, kind of cuts through chop, choppy water, uh, a little bit better than say like the traditional bow. But if you like the look of the point end, front end, they've got that as well. They've got um, a T22 uh, and a T23. So great options uh, throughout the access line, depending on how you like the boat to look. So. That's uh, some of the most exciting things about the Axis line. It's just like I said, it's simple to use, easy to set up, and they're super fun boats at a great price. All right, so we just made it out to our ride spot here, and I'm just gonna take a minute to show you guys the versatility that I get with using the wedge to shape my wave. Now, what is the wedge exactly? The wedge is the device that hangs down underneath the back end of the boat to create drag, to pull the back end of the boat down lower, so that we get a bigger, uh, better shape of a wave. Now we got a lot of versatility that you can uh, get from this wedge because you can start with anywhere from lift all the way up to six. And I'm gonna show you the difference that that makes in the performance of the wave. So the wakeboarding here, got our speed set at 19, which is a pretty common speed for most wakeboarders. And uh, we're gonna throttle up here. So here we go. All right, you can tell the engine's nice and quiet, very little vibrations, you gotta love that. Here we go, so my speed is engaged. And as you notice, my wedge went immediately to four because it was in an auto launch mode. So once the uh, boat hit the uh, desired set speed, boom, that wedge dropped down and now our front end came up. And uh, yeah, look at that beautiful weight. Nice and crisp, easy to adjust. And I'll show you how I adjust it. So if I wanted to have a beginner out there, I'm gonna drop the wedge, let's say down to two. Now the wedge, the wedge has shaped the wave to kind of take the lip out of it. A little more user friendly for those beginners doing maybe one wake tricks. And uh, yeah, if I had, uh, say someone doing a one wake jump, I could have somebody sit on one side or the other, depending on what side of the wake they were jumping and get a perfectly like smooth shaped wave with no crisp or wash on it. So it would prevent any kind of nasty fall that would maybe scare them from trying whatever trick they were trying to do. And uh, I love having that easy adjustability with where I put my ballast or where I put my people to get that wave shaped up perfect. But as I said, if you've got an expert wakeboarder out there, you can really use this uh, wedge to shape the wave. So now I've got it on five. You can see that 
way, way more lift to it. And this is with no ballast. So you go and you add all the ballast into the boat on top of the use of this wedge, which uh, I believe the wedge creates a simulated uh, amount of weight of like 2,500 pounds. So if you had no ballast in the back, but you drop that wedge down, you automatically have what would assume to be like 2,500 pounds of ballast. So pretty cool that you've got that option uh, for the versatility of the wakeboard uh, wave and also with the wake surf wave. So I'm gonna get into some wake surf settings for you now. So now that I'm ready to switch over to wake surfing, all I would do is come in here and I would fill all my ballast and then come over to this keypad and say, we're gonna surf the left side. So I hit the left arrow. And that is indicated on the screen right here with the uh, arrow pointing left. That means the, the surf gate on the right side is going to fold out, creating the surf wave on the left, right where you want to be. And we don't want to go 19, so I'm over here just adjusting the speed. You can hold the button, it goes down in whole numbers, or you can click it one at a time. And we're going to set it at 10.8. Seems to be the best, most optimal speed for uh, the wake surf wave on this boat. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna continue to let these ballast tanks fill. And then once they're full, we're gonna throttle it up and see what we think of the wake. So now that we're waiting for these ballast tanks to fill, I'm gonna take a few minutes to show you guys a new feature and an upgraded feature. So the new feature I'm excited to show you is this trash can that they put in the walkway. So they've kind of extended the fiberglass design out a little bit to make room for this. It's got a nice little door hatch on it, boom drop your uh yeah your trash or whatever you got in there and it's just nice easy uh convenient and accessible which i love now the upgraded feature i want to show you guys is how uh, malibu has started doing their own soft grip flooring which is the brown beneath me here and then on the uh, the traction pad on the railings here which i absolutely love having because i'm always up putting boards in and out of the racks and stepping on the fiberglass so it's nice having this extra grip uh, right here on the railing but what they've done is that they've like increase the quality of this material by making it in-house. And what they've done is they've added some uh, rigidness to it and they've made it taller. So it seems uh, more durable and it just really feels good on your feet. So just another added attention to detail that Malibu and Axis continue just to up their game on. All right, the surf is about to be up because my ballast tanks are full. Now the way that I know they're full is because water is shooting out my overflows the front tank and the back and uh, all I got to do is come into my window here turn the tanks off and now we're good to go but now if this were to be a Malibu you'd actually have a specific window in the screen where you could select how much water you want in each tank and adjust it just by a touch of the screen but this one here it's a little bit uh, more simple and all you do is fill them till they're overflowing and then you're good to go so we're at max ballast right now uh, with the factory tanks and plug and play and we'll see uh, what this wake looks like for you Okay, so we're all dialed in here, ready to go, and I'm just gonna throttle this up, I'll let that surf gate kick out to create this massive wave. So here we go. Yeah, it's going a little higher, and we're making a 
sick way on the left and right side. Absolutely amazing. Gosh, I love this boat. So simple to use, so fun and great quality and performance. So yeah, thanks for watching this uh, in water boat show, I guess you would say with me here, Kirby, with Kirby School Awake. And like I said, if you're in the Kansas City area, be sure to stop by the uh, Overland Park Boat Show because that 24MXZ, very similar to this boat. Hop in it, walk around, meet the crew that are with Iguana IMG at, from Lake of the Ozarks and State of Mind Water Sports from St. Louis. They've got a great uh, staff on hand there that can answer any of your questions. But if you have other questions, um, you feel free to reach out to me. Even if you're not in that area, I'd be happy to uh, hop on a call with you or just DM me through Instagram or Facebook. I love talking boats. So this has been fun. Thanks for watching me and my beautiful Axis Wake 824.